What is up, cool kids? My name is Gavin, and I'm That Cool Trainer, coming at you for the first time with this new series. Um, I Basically, with my free time over break, uh, this this is what I'm going to be doing. Uh, in addition to my other, my other stuff on the channel, like the Wi-Fi battles and the... Um, the Pokemon Rod Cool Lock. If that's not finished by then, I don't know if it will be or not. My camera's been doing that all day. I don't know why. Anyway, enjoy the series. Uh, be warned, it is not PG. I cannot and will not try to play Skyrim PG. It's just not going to happen. And it can be kind of gory. I mean, it's... when it For the time it came out, Skyrim did have great effects. But you can, there's, there's still effects. You can tell that they're very fake. It's not too bad. Although I want to say in the first couple minutes of this episode, somebody gets beheaded. Um, yeah, so with that, let's start the show. Welcome, 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 cool people, to the playthrough of Skyrim. Now this is a very, very special playthrough. Uh, we're going to load from here. I saved it right before we... Um, uh, before we pick our, our thing, our race, um, for a very special reason, very, very special reason, Ulfric Stormcloak, um, right there, it said we were in Nord, it said we were in Nord, however, we have not yet picked, and there's something very special about when we get to pick, um, let's have a quick look around. I'm um, actually, you know what? We'll get there when we get there. I was gonna tell you something. We will get, we will get there when we get there. So that guy's gonna run away. You can actually see it right there in the frame. Um, that horse is a little funny colored. Horses aren't normally yellow. You there? Step forward. Well, hello. Who are you? So. That's who I am. And that's why we are playing Skyrim here. We are going to be a Lucario. Playing through Skyrim, I already tried. You can't edit anything about the about Lucario. Um, we're going to finish and name our character. We're going to name him Zoro, uh, because that is what I like to name my my uh, Lucario in game, Captain, in uh, Pokemon, I guess. Do? He's not on the list. So Forget here we are playing Pokerim. Or Sky Pokerim sounds better. I was gonna say Skymon. Pokerim sounds better. So here we go. If you are not familiar with Skyrim, you didn't miss a whole lot. Um, basically, what has already happened, what has already taken place, is I'm gonna pause right here because it's kind of important. This guy right here, in the black cloak with the cloth over his mouth. That is uh, Ulfric Stormcloak, the leader of a rebellion against the Empire in Skyrim. If you know absolutely nothing about the Elder Scrolls universe, that's fine. Um, but basically, what this is, is this is an RPG that takes place uh, on the in the realm of Nern. I guess, I, I, I guess you could call it a planet. I don't know, it doesn't really go out into that kind of scope. Um... But we are on the continent of Tamriel and in the province of Skyrim. Uh, Skyrim, each of... Um, this is at the fifth installment of the Elder Scrolls series. And each of the different provinces in Skyrim. There's... Um, I want to say there's... I'm not going to give a number off the top of my head because I don't really know. Um, but each one is mainly populated by a different race. The Skyrim... Uh, this province is mainly populated by Nords, uh, who very much resemble like Nordic culture in our own real world, with um, you know the uh, people like Vikings essentially. Um, this guy right here in the gladiator type getup is General General Tullius. He is the military governor in charge of the province of Skyrim, because the Empire is actually not located in this province. The the head of the Empire is in the province of Cyrodiil, which is to the southwest, or no southeast, I believe. Anyway, that's basically what happened. We got captured, um, trying to leave the country. Yeah, trying to leave Skyrim into uh, one of the neighboring provinces, um, and somehow we got captured with um, this group of Stormcloak rebels. That's basically all you missed so far. And with that, let's get back to it. Frick Stormcloak, some here in Helgen call you a hero. 
But a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and usurp his throne. And I'm sorry if, if I ever talk over somebody. Um, I'm sorry. From from what I from what I can tell, YouTube has a has a rule um, when playing games that you can't be silent for very long because then. There's too much content that isn't my own. See, it, like, even though, like, all these, these games that people play on YouTube are copyrighted uh, by the company that makes the game, YouTube has a provision where, as long as you are providing your own unique commentary over the game, that is fine. You can monetize that, that is absolutely fine. Um, however, if you talk for too little or don't talk very much, I guess. Um, basically, you don't provide enough of a commentary and YouTube can give you a copyright strike for that, which is not something I want. So if I'm ever talking over somebody, I'll try to put on subtitles. I'll probably try and fix that. Um, at you know, I'm going to fix that as soon as we can. I'm going to fix that right now, actually, if I'm if I can. Um, I feel like that's in gameplay. Nope. Um, the audio? There it is. Um, guess not. Display? General subtitles. Cool. Um, dialogue sub- Yeah, okay, I'll just put on some subtitles, that's fine. Cool. To the block prisoner. Nice and easy. Okay, so that'll be there. Um... So I can freely talk, I can freely talk, uh, over whoever. If the dialogue, uh, I will say this, the dialogue is almost always more important than what I'm saying. Because there is a lot of lore surrounding Skyrim, things that you will not understand if you don't hear and or see what these people are talking about. Oh. So there is Alduin, the main bad guy of this entire game, showing up within the first 10-15 minutes. I don't even know how long we've been going for. I don't, does Hed, I don't even think he's that guy normally stands there. Anyway, so that is, I'm going to call that a Hydreigon, even though his name is actual, all, actually Alduin. Um, but he's a big black dragon, and in Pokemon, the closest thing to that is a Hydreigon. So that's what we're going with. Let me in here, man. You're trying to get me in here. Let me in. Alright. So, um, clearly, there's very big difference between the storm cloaks and the uh, the Imperials and the Empire. You will see that um, that'll get played out pretty heavily. I Dragon used this man. It was super effective on on that homeboy there. So we are going to jump out here. And so it, it, the reason why we did that was to, was to purposely get separated from them, because uh, coming up we will have to pick between who we like better, the Empire or the Stormcloaks. Still alive, prisoner. Give me if you want to stay that way. Okay. Gunnar, take care of the boy. I have to find General Tolias and join the defense. God guide you. Basically, um, like early on in the game, there's really no way to know this. But as you play through, I feel like a lot of people inherently join the Empire. Oh, that's kind of cool. Um, for anybody who knows Skyrim, I've, I've never actually played with the subtitles on. So it's, it's not something that I'm used to. But, um... It says on the bottom in the subtitles, Alduin says uh, these random words that don't seem to make sense. That's actually a dragon language, and that um, that comes in pretty big later. Oh. guard is uh, basically in this game like the Nordic, um, like Valhalla. Where like if you if you die honorably like with a weapon and all that all that fancy stuff all that fa all that fancy shit 
you uh, you go and like live forever in like this big party hall. Um, okay, so this is this is from a mod. Basically, just adds extra sounds that make it more realistic, more in depth. Don't worry about any of that. So my hands are bound. He's gonna check out we'll this person. Again, guard, Looks like we're the only ones who made it. You are one ugly motherfucker. That thing was a dragon, no doubt. Just like the children's stories and the legends, the harbingers of the end times. We cool. better get moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. Hurry up. Okay. There you go. May so, well take on your gear. I. You won't be needing it anymore. Spoilers. I did play through this a little bit because I have had right. so much trouble. I've had so much trouble getting this to record. I don't know why. I there's no reason for it. It. I li I've literally spent the last two hours of my day trying to get this to record even with this poor of a quality it has taken me that long to get it to record this at all um and we are actually an illegal lucario because we know flamethrower let's see about that gate um yeah we are an illegal lucario let me look i, I did not look at the skills um which, and I'm sorry for people who know Skyrim and are really proficient in Skyrim, but I'm there are people who aren't. Uh, so I'm going to explain some stuff. Oh my god. Okay, well, um, each race, when you start, has some skills that are boosted. Each skill starts at 15. I don't know why they didn't make it 1. But each skill goes from 15 uh, up to 100, at, that, at which point you can reset it, uh, so you can basically level up indefinitely. For some reason, I have a destruction of 50, which is insane. So what else we have? We have conjuration of, and this is all this is all like different skills that you level up by doing things. Con uh, the ones with the blue background clouds are like the the magic, the magic uh, fields. These ones are like the more stealth fields, um, and then these ones in the red are the more um, like warrior type skills. Um, so we are pretty good at fighting, actually, we are very good at fighting, with high destruction, high conjuration, and high, um, very high attacking stats. So we, no, f so we are a flamethrowering, oh, I like that, cr well, his arms look a little, a little wonky, but we are going to end these Imperials' lives. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Okay, so now I'm going to rob these people blind. And I I, pref I much prefer light armor. Um, I don't think... Actually, actually, I don't know. Normally, if you have heavier armor, it slows you down and makes it... Um, basically just makes it so like you're louder when you move I don't know if that will be an effect here, here we are. Found the key. Jesus Christ Rayloff let's go and I set an alarm so I know because like I can't actually see when like how long I've been going for I'll try to keep these between 30 and 60 minutes um, but Skyrim, once you get playing, it is really hard to stop. Not necessarily at the beginning, because the beginning is the beginning is a little slow. Um, but once you really get into it and then just start running around out in the overworld, it is hard to stop. See, and normally, you do not just wreck people like that. Even like the highest powered race, uh, which are the high elves, even then you don't destroy people that quickly this early so we are incredibly over leveled I'm gonna be making all sorts of Pokemon comparisons um, so we are ridiculously over leveled for right now um, and for as high as our you know what we will we will call the magic stuff our special attack the 
stuff over here, our physical attack. Um, so our special is higher than our physical, which makes sense because we are a Lucario. Um, but our physical is still, like one-handed, still pretty good. Uh, only slightly worse than the special. So we are going to run a mixed Lucario. Because uh, we do have some swords that we got. Um, I definitely think I like this better. Um, because, let me, let me show you something. Something I found out. So like, you can't see my hands. And also, look at that. Oh, Rayloff, get out of my way. Look, okay, you just see like these bald ass fucking arms. With no hands. They look veiny as fuck. So I'm going to stay in this mode for a very, very large portion of this game. Because the other way just looks silly. So I'm going to take all this stuff. Something in this cage. Take that. Ah, Rayloff is gonna give me some lock picks. Oh, this is a beginner lock. Come on. If you can get it open with some. All right. So we are going to take this guy's stuff. There's a lot of semi-naked people in this game as well. Let's go. So we did just get a new um, spell book, which essentially teaches us, what am I doing? A new move, I guess, it was a good comparison. So we now have essentially Thundershock. So we have Flamethrower, we'll, we'll call it Ember because it's not very powerful. We have Ember and Thundershock. But Thundershock does take more out of us than uh, Ember does. So, I'm going to be rocking with Ember until I run out of magic, which is basically your PP. Um, but yeah, I think that's a good way. I think I'm going to be making Pokemon like analogies like that a lot throughout this this game. Um, just cause I think it's easier for the people who don't know the Skyrim universe, don't know all that much stuff about it. Um, so, I really don't need them because all my people, so I'm just gonna run up without them. So my magic goes low, he dies anyway. We get some damage off on him, so we are out of magic. So we're just gonna switch, go for the mixed set, pull out the swords. Now my stamina's low, and I completely missed that attack. All right, so. Miryu. Slash. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Get him. Alright, moving on up. Switching back to the Ember because we have, we're stronger in that area. My special attack is better. So normally, uh, we would be running around with Rayloff, that blonde dude from the beginning. Be running around with him. Um, but, I don't really need him. So, I'm not going to, I'm not going to stick around with him. He's not overly important to the story. I am a steel type. You can't poison. Get the fuck out of here. And normally, normally I would be going around getting all sorts of items, because there are some decent items in here. Oh, there's um, some spider eggs, all that good shit. And we got a garnet from that one. Um, yeah, these spider eggs, uh, which you can see right up in here. I'll go get one just to show. Um, you can search in here, get some spider eggs. Those are pretty useful for making potions and whatnot. I'm not overly worried about that right now, though. So what do we have next? Oh, we just... Oh, we have this nice BR up here. Nice bear. It's gonna get wrecked. So you're a normal type. I'm a steel fighting type. Get out. So we're gonna take its claws and its skin. And... Now we're going outside. You guys really get to see, if you've never played Skyrim before, you get to see what the game's like. Because, yeah, there is a decent amount of running around in caves. But, 
there's also a very large portion where you're outside in the amazing landscapes. My controller is vibrating really profusely right now. So dual wheeling potentially doubles your melee output, but prevents any kind of blocking. Okay, so Rayloft just automatically teleports here, I guess. Wait. So, so there goes the Hydreigon. Going off. Going off into the world. And we are saying bye to Rayloff. And as you can see, this is not the remastered edition. Um, my computer does not have the does not have the RAM to run it, unfortunately. So this is what we're this is what we're rocking with, which even with the not oh look 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 I'm going to I'm going to kill this thing. Kill this nice little fox here. God, die. No way, I didn't know it said that. That's fucking dope. Let's take a look. Search Vulpix. I added another mod that retextures some animals uh, to be Pokemon, or at least resemble them. And evidently it changes their names too, I did not know that. Uh, I thought it just changed how they look. Uh, which is why the horse looked a little weird at the beginning, that's supposed to be a giraffe rig. I don't know why they didn't make it a ponyta, they probably tried and the textures just turned out a little weird. Um, so right here we have the guardian stones, and of course we're going to pick the mage stone. Uh, level up 20% faster in the special attacking areas. Um, which we are already quite good in. So here we are running along. Running along in Skyrim. This is so cool. I'm I'm really impressed by this. I thought I didn't think it would look this good. I really didn't. Um at least the at least the oh there is a There's some mighty Anna right there. I'm a steel fighting type. You can't get away from me. Search Mighty Anna. That is so... There's another one. Not that I'm overly worried about wolves. Um, they can give you diseases, though. And that's um, something interesting about these compared to Pokemon, for those you know who don't play Skyrim. Which I highly recommend it. It is a little pricey. Um, especially compared to like the normal... If you aren't a big console gamer, if you're just a... Um, a handheld gamer, you're looking you're looking to pay upward of sixty bucks for a game. And that still holds true for PC as well. Um, so we're coming up on Riverwood, and look it, look who we have here. Hello, my friend. Need something? Yeah, kinda. Divine smile on you, friend. Lead the way. So we have Mewtwo as a follower. That is another mod. There's another mod that we have. So we need to speak uh, to Girder, who is over here. Is Mewtwo coming? Oh man, he looks so bad. He looks. Both of us look pretty bad, honestly. But I'm down. I'm okay with it. So, what up, Girder? I'm gonna switch to this for now. I heard the gourmet is hiding out somewhere in Skyrim. You know, fella who wrote that cookbook. I don't know what you're talking about, but but sure. So Rayloff said you would help me out. How do you know him? Uh, he's a friend. He promised really you could help. Rayloff's friend. I'll be glad to help you. But you didn't answer my question. How do you know him? Well, if you would fucking look at me when I talked to you, maybe I'd tell you. Dragon attacked Helgen and destroyed it. Rayloff and I escaped together. It can't be. Although, it would explain what I saw earlier. Flying down the valley from the south. I thought I must have just been... Nope, that was a fucking Hydreigon. Um, I'll go with this one. It was a dragon. Rayloff will tell you the same thing. Oh, why? But I actually believe you. You've got the look of someone who's just seen a dragon. Things just go from bad to worse. First the war, now dragons. What's this world coming to? Pokemon. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. Because y'all suck. We need to get word to Jarl Balgruf in Whiterun to send whatever troops he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Sure. 
Give me stuff. Did I see you talking to Sven? No, get the fuck. Maybe not. Maybe. No. Fine, I'll get the fuck away from me. Stay away from him if I were you. I'm glad to help. Okay, like I'm gonna said, rob you I'm blind. Help in any way I can. Take everything you've got. It. Okay, so Mewtwo, do you can you hold my things? You can. All right, cool. Let's get going. Riverwood's agreeable enough, I suppose. All right, so we're gonna go to some shops. And honestly, there is a lot of in between. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of in between points where you're not doing a whole lot. Um, so I'm going to sell him some stuff. Helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. So, I only need two swords. I'm going to sell him... Oh, okay. Well, I only need one sword, apparently. Um, get rid of all that good stuff. I don't need it. Um, don't need that. I'm going to be a light armor user, so I don't need any of those. Um, and since, since you can't see it, there's no point in tailoring how I look, either. Which is normally something that I do. I, I like to look a certain way in Skyrim. Man, Mewtwo is fucking giant. I mean, then again, so we're pretty we're pretty tall also. Um, but to start the next quest, we have to go up in here to the Riverwood Trader. Well, one of us has to do something. I said no. No adventures. No theatrics. Thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Lucan, you are a pussy. You can't do anything for yourself. We're gonna... She is a strong, independent woman. Who don't need no brother. The Riverwood Trader is everything you need in a general store. Uh, did something yeah, happen? We, we did have a bit of a, a break-in. We, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. That pussy. An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. I can help you get the claw back. I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Now, if you're going to get those thieves, you should head to Bleak Falls Barrow, northeast of town. All right. Yes. Peace. So now you Normally, she kind of points it out, but I mean, it's pretty pretty obvious. We saw it when we were coming up this way. Uh, so Mewtwo is following us. That is terrifying. Um, so I don't even know how strong Mewtwo is in this game. Because, like I said, this is the first time I'm playing through it. When I was playing through it earlier, I didn't even get this far. Um, just because I was experimenting with um, frame rates, all that good stuff. And to be honest, I don't even know how this is going to look. I'm putting a lot of faith in it, and that it'll look not horrible. Um, but, you know, we're... We out here. Why Deanna get bodied? Alright, um... So we are going up this here mountain. I kinda want Mew to... To, to do some action. I probably will get into a fight. There actually... There's some people up here that I know that I fight. Um, that I will just run up, start the fight, and then just run away and let Mewtwo deal with them. See how that works. So I don't know how strong Mewtwo is. I don't know what level Mewtwo is. Um, normally, um, most most uh, NPCs that follow you and help you do stuff uh, have a level that scales with yours. But I'm level 1. Get him. Get him, buddy. Okay, so that is my alarm that's going off. Okay, so he has flamethrower as well. Amber, I guess. And he has a bow. <laughs> he choose a fucking archer. That's pretty dope. Ow. Who the fuck just shot me? Go get him, buddy. I think that was... Okay, my screen just got a little, little dimmer, so I think my... PC's dying. That's much better. Okay, well. So we are going to wrap this episode up because my alarm did go off for um, about a half hour. Or like the like a roughly half hour. Um, no, I don't want the 
fucking wooden pole. Um, roughly half hour timeline here. So we're going to drop that. Go back up here. And there should be... I believe there's one more person. So I will get to Bleak Falls Barrow. But not go in it. I will fight the people on the outside. Spoilers. Um, Scroll of Conjure Storm Atronach. That is useful. I didn't take it though. Okay. So I will take your stuff and your stuff as well. I don't believe there's anything else we have to fight until we get up to the barrow. Which I believe is just right around the corner here. Yep. Alright. Man, this is so dope. I, I can't believe that this, I'm actually doing this. Um, I'm really hoping that the that the quality is not like unwatchable because I really don't want to put out bad content. I really don't. But this is something I've wanted to do since I opened up the channel. Oh, hell, hello. Can I help you, sir? Get fucked by a Mewtwo. Mewtwo and Lucario flame throwing you, which shouldn't even be possible. Alright, we'll clean all these people of their stuff. I don't know where... Oh, over here, that's right. Okay, and another good thing about having followers in Skyrim is... When he gets up here... Got your back. I can so what do you want me to carry? give him my shit that I don't want to carry. I'm going to give you my hunting bow, these daggers that I don't want. I'm going to give you a great sword just because I kind of want to see you use it. Um, I'll give you... No, it has the same rating that I have. Um, so dump that off, dump all those off, because they don't help me get better. See, and he can have all that shit. Actually, I kind of want that one. Yeah, I want my novice hood back, because that makes it so we have more um, PP, pretty much, for our magic. Um, load off some miscellaneous. Actually, we'll keep all that. So, we are going to end this episode here. Uh, what a great... That might be the thumbnail. That might be the thumbnail right there. Actually, no, that spoils too much. Uh, that, that'll probably be the next one. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video as much as I did, please, please, please like and or subscribe. If you just want to see more of that Mewtwo with a fucking broadsword on his back... Come watch the next episode. These are going to be going up semi-often. I haven't decided how often yet. At least twice a week um, for the month of that I'm off for break, which is from December. Today is the 9th. Um, so I'm going home in a couple days. So basically, December... I'm going to say roughly December 17th through uh, January... 13th or 14th. So roughly twice a week between there, probably more. So, um, like I said, if you enjoyed this video, please like and or subscribe. If you did like this video just because of the shitty quality, that's fine. Give it a thumbs down. Let me know in the comments below. So until next time, smell you later.